This is how does a narcissist feel when they lose you for good. Remorse is a universal and potent emotion that many individuals encounter at various points in their lives. It surfaces when we acknowledge that decisions or actions from our past have resulted in unfavorable consequences. Regret, a weighty emotional burden, can significantly impact our mental well-being. In this discussion, we will explore the nuances of whether narcissists authentically experience regret when losing someone. To comprehend this, it's crucial to understand the origins of regret and whether individuals can genuinely overcome it. Regret often arises from feelings of guilt or remorse, stemming from the belief that alternative actions in the past might have changed the outcome. For some, regret acts as a catalyst for positive change, encouraging different behaviours and choices in the future. However, for others, it becomes enmeshed in persistent reflection and self-doubt. The capacity to move past regret hinges on one's level of self-awareness and emotional intelligence. When it comes to narcissists, the question of whether they authentically regret losing someone becomes complex. Narcissists can be compared to parasites, attaching themselves to others' lives to drain the energy and resources they crave. They conceal their true predatory nature, projecting an image of invincibility. In reality, they are hollow individuals riddled with insecurities, subject to their own experiences of sorrow and loss. Nevertheless, narcissists do not experience regret in the typical manner. Empathy and an understanding of the impact of their actions on others elude them. Their singular focus revolves around fulfilling their own needs and desires, viewing others as mere tools to achieve these objectives. As a result, they lack remorse or guilt when they lose someone, failing to recognize the individual as someone with unique needs and emotions. Instead, narcissists may simulate regret as a manipulation tactic toward the person they lost. They might attempt to assign blame or induce guilt, aiming to regain control over the situation. False promises of change, flattery, and manipulation become their tools in trying to win the person back. However, these displays of regret are insincere, lacking genuine remorse or guilt. So, do narcissists genuinely regret losing someone? They do experience regret, but it differs in nature from our conventional understanding. It is natural for individuals to question themselves after setbacks, such as the end of a relationship or a career loss. In reflecting on their inaction, they may acknowledge a sense of regret. Regret takes on varied meanings for each person. In the limited perspective of a narcissist, the world resembles a narrow tunnel, only recognizing and valuing those who fulfill their desires. Those actively catering to the narcissist's false self are deemed valuable. If you were a primary source of attention, resources, or other requisites, you were the sought-after supply, not out of genuine care or a desire for a relationship, but because you held value for them, meeting needs unfulfilled by their existing resources. As a result, a narcissist's experience of regret diverges from your own. If I were to regret losing them, it would be due to my failure to do more to keep them in my life. However, this regret doesn't stem from genuine care, but from the loss of access to the value and benefits they provided. They will seek a new partner capable of offering the same level of attention, manipulation and effort. It is more convenient for them to retain a current partner than to find a new one, similar to the ease of maintaining an employee rather than hiring someone new. Losing a housekeeper or an automated cash dispenser may evoke regret, while losing a partner who showers them with endless affection may prompt guilt over relying on the services of a cook. In reality, narcissists require someone to fulfill their needs, making them easily replaceable. The identity of who fulfills this role doesn't matter, as long as their needs are satisfied. 
Genuine care for one another does not exist within this context. It is a realm characterized by pure egotism, where individuals are solely focused on achieving their own goals. It epitomizes extreme egocentrism. Therefore, a narcissist does not experience regret in the same manner as you do. Even if they outwardly express regret, it lacks authentic feelings of loss, remorse or guilt. Instead, it surfaces as superficial reflections on how they could have maintained a source of supply because they were benefiting from it. If you have recently terminated a relationship with a narcissist, they may reach out with apologies like, I'm sorry this happened, or profess to have experienced a spiritual awakening. These are merely manipulative tactics aimed at instilling insecurity and ultimately eliciting surrender. Genuine regret is beyond the reach of narcissists due to their absence of ethical principles. As humans, we possess an inherent moral compass that guides our actions. It is essential to recognize that everything you have been told is untrue, a complete fabrication. Keep in mind that a narcissist's only concern is their self-interest and well-being. Similar to the awareness that guides our actions and shapes our understanding of reality, enabling us to reflect on our successes and failures, establish moral principles, determine how we ought to treat others, identify limitations, and overcome fears, narcissists lack this capacity. Regardless of the presence of injustice, a narcissist remains indifferent to what befalls you, experiencing no remorse. When someone fails to appreciate your true essence and merely uses you for the energy and resources you provide, lamenting their absence becomes fruitless. Fellow survivors must comprehend how these individuals construct false narratives and, more importantly, reclaim their well-being. I'm keenly interested in hearing your personal experiences and the remorseful words your narcissist used. Please share your story by leaving a comment below. In an upcoming episode, I will delve further into this topic to foster healing. In conclusion, while narcissists may express regret over a loss, their experience of regret diverges from ours. Lacking empathy, they fail to grasp the emotional toll their actions inflict upon their loved ones. Losing someone holds no remorse or guilt for them, as they perceive individuals as disposable tools. Their declarations of sorrow are not genuine, but rather manipulative tactics in their quest for control. Although they may feel some form of remorse for causing harm and witnessing its impact, it does not constitute genuine regret. When involved in relationships with narcissists, it is crucial to recognize warning signs and avoid falling prey to their manipulation. If you found this video informative, please leave your feedback and questions in the comments section. As we continue our journey of healing, take care and have a wonderful day.